Hey, Encounter Life Ministries family. It's time for another leadership chat with me, Jackie. Um, so this past weekend, as I was listening to the worship and Pastor Corey and Michelle's message, I was thinking about um, phrases we use or things that we say as Christians that sometimes I wonder if we actually think about what they mean. So, for example, when we sing a song, inviting the Holy Spirit to be present, or we talk about seeking God's face, what do those things really mean? Because the Holy Spirit obviously is present all the time, everywhere that we are. And it made me think about the show Downton Abbey. If you've never seen it, it's a show about um, an aristocratic family and the working class people who serve them in uh, the UK in the 1910s, 1920s, sometime around that time period. And the um, highest ranking working class person is the butler. And on the show, it was Mr. Carson. And he's responsible for making sure that everything that is supposed to be happening is happening and just keeping things running smoothly and according to plan and purpose. And particularly, I was thinking about when they sit down to dinner. So the family, of course, dresses for dinner, and they all sit at the big table, <clears throat> and the working class people serve them. So the footmen bring around the trays, and they stop at each person, and they serve themselves off those trays. And Mr. Carson is always standing in the room overseeing this happening. And um, I really started thinking about how it's easy for us to treat the Holy Spirit like Mr. Carson, where we don't talk to him, we don't acknowledge him, we just expect him to be there, making sure everything is happening the way that we expect it to. And so when we say things like we're going to invite the Holy Spirit or we pray, Holy Spirit, we welcome you, it is instead of taking for granted that the Holy Spirit is there working, that we want to be intimately acquainted with him. It would be like inviting Mr. Carson to sit at the table with us and share his wisdom and his knowledge and his experiences. But the Holy Spirit is so much better than Mr. Carson because Mr. Carson, of course, is paid to tell you what you want to hear. And so when we invite the Holy Spirit, we are not just treating everything as if it's just going to happen. Um, we are choosing to be intimately acquainted. We're choosing to invite the Holy Spirit into being a part of our decisions, into being a part of all the things that we're doing at that time. And so when we say those things, it really does have meaning. It's not just something we say, because of course the Holy Spirit is always there. But it's saying, you know, I want to be partnered with you. I want to know your thoughts and your um, desires for me as much as I want to share my thoughts and my desires with you. So I would encourage you as you're going through your days to just take time to acknowledge the Holy Spirit and acknowledge the part that he is playing to be responsive and thankful for when things go well for you and to ask for help when you need help and invite him to actually sit at the table with you rather than just having him be present, but ignored in the room. So just take some time this week to invite the Holy Spirit to sit at the table with you and to share with him everything that's going on. You have a great week. Can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.